Okay. Good day, my dear grade 10. And this is our last module for the third quarter. Now, before we begin our lesson, let us first start with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Great God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we adore you for you have made this school year happen. Thank you for your ways in which you provide for all of us. For your protection and love, we thank you. Thank you for helping us as we gradually transition to the new normal. Grant us mercy for sometimes forgetting how each day is a gift of meaningful change. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen, write, and solve. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Let your Holy Spirit guide and inspire us as we move forward. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How are you, my dear grade 10? Uh, before we proceed to our formal discussion, let me first remind you some important points. Uh, the first one is... Um, your module, your activity sheet, your pen must be beside you so that you can follow those activities inside your module and activity sheets. And then have also your piece of paper and your notebook so that you can jot down some important points uh, on the video lesson that I am going to present to you. And, and then uh see to it that you do not miss those important uh part of the lesson especially the explanation of those illustrative examples so that you can easily answer the activities in your activity sheets okay so let us continue let us begin with a recall of what we have discussed last week module. Uh, a box contains balls numbered 1 to 10. So, a box contains balls numbered 1 to 10. How many possible outcomes do we have if we throw a ball? So, applying what you have learned last week, how many possible outcomes do we have if we draw a ball? Let me see your answer. If you can answer it correctly, I will reveal the answer for number one. The answer is 10. Then, for number two, what is the probability that the ball drawn is number three? So the ball drawn is number 3. We all know that there is only one ball number 3. So there is only one outcome. And the probability for this is 1 because there is only one uh, outcome for drawing a ball 3. So one ball is number 3. And the total outcomes is 10 or total possible outcomes is 10. So, we have 1 over 10 as the probability that the ball drawn is number 3. Next, number 3. What is the probability that the ball drawn is even number? So, we all know that from number 1 to 10, those even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And how many uh, even numbers do we have? We have 5. So, uh, 5 over 10 in simplest form is equal to 1 half. I hope you get it also correctly so that we can proceed to the next part of our uh, lesson. Uh, our topic for this week is mutually exclusive events and problems involving probability. 
So under this topic, we have three objectives. The first one is illustrates mutually exclusive events and not mutually exclusive events. Then for number two, solves problems involving probability. And number three, realize the importance of probability in real life. So these are the three objectives for this week uh, module. Then let us continue. So I have here an activity wherein the instruction goes like this. Could the two events A and B in the following situations happen at the same time? If yes, put a tick or check in the box. If no, put a cross. So the instruction is, if the situation happened at the same time, meaning if it happened at the same time, there is a common outcome. Ano? Uh, if yes, put a check or tick in the box. And if the situation do not happen at the same time, your answer is no, put a cross. Number one. So we have two events, A and B. Event A, toss a coin and get heads. Event B, toss a coin and get tails. So what will it, what is your answer for uh, number one if this is the given situation? Tossing a coin and get head, tossing a coin and get tail. Let us reveal the answer and I hope you have answer already. For number one, this is X. X meaning the situations in event A and B do not happen at the same time. Because if you toss a coin, uh, you will get head. And if you toss a coin, you will get tail. Hindi siya pwede mangyari ng sabay. Kung head, head talaga ang um, makukuha or magpo-fall. Kung, kung tail, tail talaga. So, there is no possibility that the head and tail uh, will land both. So, it's either head or tail. That's why the answer is X. What about number two? Event A, roll a dice and get a 1. Event B, roll a dice and get a 6. So, we all know that a die or dice have 6 faces numbered 1 to 6. So, if the event A, uh, when we roll a die, we'll get C, uh, 1. And when we roll a die, we get 6 for event B. Uh, it happened at the same time ba? Or it doesn't happen at the same time? Let me see. And then double check if your answer is the same with the answer here. Okay, another X meaning... These two events will not happen at the same time. Siyempre, kapag uh, ni-roll mo yung dice, isa lang talaga yung mag makukuha mo kung one, one lang talaga. Hindi pwede magsabang yung one at saka yung six kasi isang die lang yon. So, the answer is X. Number three, event A, roll a dice and get a two, B. Roll a dice and get an even number. Again, uh, num uh, a die, uh, a dice have six faces numbered one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in event A, you get two, and in event B, you get an even number. What do you think is the answer for number three? Is it an X or a check? Okay, I, uh, I'm sure you have already answered num number three. Then check if your answer is the same with the answer here. Okay, the answer is check. Meaning, this event A and event B happen at the same time. Siyempre. Kasi kung doon sa event A, ang nakuha natin ay number two. And then sa event B, ang nag-fall doon sa ating die sa top top portion or top part of the die are even numbers. So, dun sa even number, andun na rin kasi si 2 because in even numbers from 1 to 6, we have 2, 4, 6. So, there is a possibility that in event B, 
we will get 2 because 2 is an even number, which is the same in event A, getting a 2 also. That's why event A and B happen, can happen at the same time. So the answer is check. Next, for number 4, a bag contains 2 yellow balls and 3 blue balls. A ball is drawn from it. So in event A, you get a yellow ball. And then in event B, you get a blue ball. So we all know that we have two yellow balls and we have three yellow balls. So kung kukuha tayo ng ball dun sa, sa bag, in event A, ang kukuha daw natin ay yellow and in event B, ang kukuha natin ay blue. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? Is it, it ha can it happen at the same time? Is, remember, isang ball lang ang kukunin natin. Uh, can it happen at the same time na makuha natin pareho si yellow and blue? So, let us see. Okay, X. Kasi when we draw a ball, kung yellow, yellow lang. Kung blue, blue lang. So, hindi pwede mangyari na yung after, after we draw yellow ball, o wala silang common wala silang common element dun sa outcome. Kasi kung yellow, yellow lang. Kung blue, blue lang. So, wala silang common outcome. That's why event A and event B does not happen at the same uh, time. Next, number 5 is an X. Why it is an X? So, as stated in number 5, 1 student is selected as the class monitor. So, kung pipili tayo ng class monitor, sabi dun sa event A, John is selected as a monitor. B. Peter is selected as a monitor. So, event A and B will not happen at the same time. Kung si John, si John. Kung si Peter, si Peter. That's why this is X. Next, number 6. A card is drawn from a deck of standard playing cards. So, we have the uh, situations using playing cards. So, in event A, a spade is drawn. In event B, a heart is drawn. So, when we say spade, we have 13 cards that are spades. Starting from 1, 2, 3, up to 10, then we have the jack, queen, and king. Then in event B, we have also 13 heart, heart playing cards. So, remember, spade and heart are, are different. So, wala silang common outcome na mangyayari if we drone spade. Or a heart. That's why the answer for number 6 is also an X. Then for number 7, a card is drawn from a deck of standard playing cards. So in event A, a card is drawn, a heart is drawn, and in event B, a king is drawn. So yung kayang number 7 I X parin or check na. So what do you think? Okay. Sabi niya, a heart is drawn. Then event B, a king is drawn. Yan, check. Bakit kaya check? Check siya kasi, di ba, sa first event, uh, ang idodraw mo ay heart. So, ilan ba yung heart? 13, ano, 13 yung heart card. Uh, 1 to 10, and then jack, queen, and king. Wherein, in event B, king is drawn. Ayun, so, na, ma, magkakaroon sila ng common element in the outcomes kasi dun sa drawing a heart, Meron doong king of hearts na. And then in event B, king pa rin ang idodrome mo. Sige sabihin, yung common element nila na king of heart yun yung uh, nagsabi na that the event happened at the same time. So possible na after you do the first event ay may heart ka pa rin na makukuha which is the king of heart in event B. That's why this is check. Okay. So, I hope you understand this activity. Kailan happen at the same time and kailan the events do not happen at the same time. Yan. So, it's because our lesson for today is all about mutually exclusive events. So, the situations uh, under uh, the first activity showing events A and event B illustrate what mutually exclusive events is. 
Ah, kasi doon sa ating balikan natin ulit. Doon sa ating 1 to 7, ang um, happen at the same time ay 3 and 7. And then yung situations or events that do not happen at the same time are number 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Bakit? Kasi sabi nga natin, uh, there is no possibility that when you do event A, and when you do event B, uh, the outcomes or the element in the outcomes are different. So, yun yung do not happen at the same time. But when we do event A and when we do event D, like 3 and 7, ayun, 3 and 7. So, when we do event A and event D, uh, possible that in event A and event B, there is common element in the outcome. Kasi dun sa 3, 2 is also an even number. So that is common element in their outcome. And for number 7, sabi dyan, heart is thrown, king is thrown. King of heart is a common element. King na heart pa. So that's why uh, the events happen at the same time. So, ito ngayon nag illustrate nung ating next lesson, which is mutually exclusive events. So, what do we mean by mutually exclusive events? So, the definition and the illustration will be uh, given to you and explained to you. When we say mutually exclusive events, these are events that have no outcomes in common and cannot happen at the same time. So, ito yung, ito yung nilagyan natin ng X, X dun sa box. No outcomes in common and cannot happen at the same time. Halimbawa ay tossing a coin, get head, tossing a coin, get tail. So, there is no common uh, outcome. And there is no common outcome in doing that events. So, do that is an example of mutually exclusive events. Uh, if you have a standard deck of card and then you draw you draw a spade, then you draw a heart. So there is no common element in heart and and spade. So kung heart heart kung spade spade. So that is mutually exclusive events. So this also means that two or more events cannot happen at the same time. Kung ipapakita natin yung kanyang Venn diagram as an illustration of what we are talking of, mutually exclusive events, eto siya. Ayan. Yung event A and event B magkahiwalay kasi nga wala silang common outcome. So, walang common element yung event B at event B. So, this is the probability of A or B. And the probability, sabi dyan, if two events A and B are mutually exclusive events, then the probability that either A or B occurs in the sum is the sum of their probabilities. So, ito na yung formula natin. So, when we are looking for the probability of A or B, this is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Remember that A and B represent the two events. So, kung siya ay mutually exclusive event, wala silang common outcomes, you just add the probability of the two events. So, that is what we call mutually exclusive events. On the other hand, Ayan, meron tayong tinatawag na not mutually exclusive events or non-mutually exclusive events. So, ano naman na ibig sabihin ito? Siyempre, ito yung opposite of mutually. So, when we say not mutually, events when there are outcomes that are common to A and B. Ayan, yung number 3 at saka yung number 7, may common outcomes sila. Kaya sila ay tinatawag na not mutually exclusive events. Sa illustration, eto siya yan. Yung Venn diagram natin, nag-overlap yung event A at saka yung event B. Bakit sila nag-overlap? Kasi yung overlapping nila, yung overlapping section or overlapping part, yun yung, yun yung kanilang outcomes that 
are common. Kagaya dun sa get getting two at saka yung get even number. So, we all know that two is also an even number. So, that is a common element to two. Even na uh, number two pa. Kaya, meron silang uh, intersection of the two events. And that intersection of the two events are the common outcomes in event A and event B. So, what will be our formula if we are going to look for event A or B, which are not mutually exclusive events? So, the probability in symbol, looking for the probability of A or B for not mutually exclusive events, is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So, ano yung minus natin? Di ba? Kanoan natin sa probability of A and probability of B. Inad natin siya. So, subtract natin B yan, yung probability of A and B, which is the probability uh, of the common outcomes. Ito yung intersection of A and B. Okay. To make it clear, uh, I will give you three examples that shows how to find the probability of mutually and not mutually. So, let us have the problem solving involving this probability. Ito na yung example natin. Yan. So, in example 1, a bowl contains 15 chips numbered 1 to 15. If a chip is drawn randomly from a bowl, what is the probability that it is A, less than 5, B, greater than 9, C, less than 5 or greater than 9, D, less than 9 or even numbers? So, you just focus on the examples that I am going to present. So that you will know how to answer your activity sheet. So, merong 15 chips, numbered 1 to 15 doon sa ating bowl. Itong apat na to, kuhanin natin ang probability. So, doon sa letter A at saka sa letter B, hindi pa naman siya mutually, hindi pa rin siya not mutually. Kasi there is only one event that we need to find the probability. So, in letter A kasi, less than 5. Ah, ito yung solutions niya. So, ilan ba ang less than 5 doon sa chips 1 to 15? So, ang mga less than 5 natin ay yung 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 4 outcomes for less than 5. Pwede 1, 2, 3, 4 yung ating uh, makuha. Meaning, ang probability ng less than 5 ay 4 kasi yun lang yung pwede natin makuha na less than 5 over the total possible outcomes kasi 15 chips yun kaya over 15. The probability of getting or drawing less than 5 is equal to 4 over 15. Uh, uh, kapag ang sagot natin hindi na simplest form, easy simplest form natin or ilolowest term natin ha. O, yun naman, letter B, sabi dyan, probability of drawing greater than 9. So, what are those greater than 9? So, greater than 9 are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hanggang dun lang. So, ilan lahat yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, greater than 9 is 6 over the total possible outcome since we have 15 chips, so over 15. And do not forget to simplify, 6 over 15 is 2 over 5. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Pagdating natin sa number, a letter C, sabi dyan, less than 5 or greater than 9. So, dito na ngayon papasok yung kung siya ba ay mutually exclusive events or not mutually exclusive events. Para alam natin kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. So, pag tinignan natin ang less than 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pag tinignan natin ang greater than 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. May common ba dun sa uh, element ng greater than 9 at saka less than 5? So, kitang-kita naman, nawala silang common element. Meaning, si letter C ngayon ay gagamitin natin ng formula ng pagkuha ng probability ng mutually exclusive events. So, probability of uh, less than 5 plus the probability of greater than 10 which is equal to ang probability ng less than 5 natin ay 4 over 15 and then doon naman sa greater than 9 ay 6 over 15 so hindi ko ginamit yung kanyang simplest form 
uh, ginamit ko yung kanyang original fraction kasi para hindi na tayo mag-LCD, pareho na ang denominator. So, to add 4 over 15 and 6 over 15 since they have the same denominator already. So, we just add 4 and 6, we have 10. And then, just copy their common denominator, we have 15. So, in lowest term natin, kasi pwede pang isimplify, 10 over 15 are both divisible by 5. They have that, that is their common factor. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Meaning, the probability of drawing chip less than 5 or greater than 9 is equal to 2 over 3. And this is an example of mutually exclusive dividends. Yung na letter D naman, less than 9 or even number. So, probability of drawing chip less than 9 or greater than even, uh, uh, or, or even number. So, less than 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So, hina, kinulayan ko na yung same outcome nila dun sa less than 9 and even number. So, para ho silang mayroong 2, 4, 6, 8. So, ito kasi yung pwedeng makuha na less than 9. Ito yung pwedeng makuha na even number. At yung 2, 4, 6, 8 ay common outcome nung dalawang events. So, sabi natin kapag ka may common outcomes, uh, this is an example of probability of not mutually exclusive events. So, may ima-minus tayo na probability of A and B, which is the intersection or the common outcome. That's why probability of less than 9 plus probability of even number minus the probability of less than 9 and probability of even number. So, ito na ngayon siya. Ilan ang less than 9? 8 over total possible outcomes 15. Ilan ang even? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 7. Ayan. Over 15. At ilan yung common elements ng dalawang event? So, 1, 2, 3, 4 yung ini-red ko. So, merong apat na common elements. So, ima-minus natin yun. Yung number, ay yung letter C, wala tayong minus kasi wala naman silang common element. Pero kapag may common element, isubtract natin yung probability ng common element. So, 8 plus 7 ay 15 minus 4 is 11. Since they have the same denominator, you just copy their common denominator. And the answer is 11 over 15, which is already in simplest form. So, I hope you fa you you can follow or you understand this uh, example 1, using number chips, ano? and we have here the probability of single event and the probability of mutually and not mutually exclusive events. Now, would you like to try another example? Let's have another one. Our next example is this one, okay? Ayan. Uh, using card naman tayo. A card is drawn at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. So, 52 playing cards kasi meron tayong 15 diamond, 15 spade, 15 flowers, and 15, ah, 15 I mean, 13, 13 spade, 13 diamond, 13 hearts, and 13 uh, flower. That's why we have 52 cards. The question is, what is the probability that the card drawn is, letter A, a jack or a queen? And letter B, a jack or a heart? So, para malinaw kung siya ay magpupul sa mutually or not mutually, langin natin kung ang makukuha daw natin ay jack. Ilan ba ang jack? Apat lang naman, ano? Jack na diamond, heart, spade, and flower. So, we have four jack. And then, queen, apat din naman ang queen. So, wala silang common element. Jack kung jack, queen kung queen. So, we have the probability of jack or queen is equal to probability of jack plus the probability of queen, which is mutually exclusive event since they don't have common outcomes in the two events. So, the probability is 4 over total number of cards, 52. The other one is also 4 over 52. So, adding the numerator, we have 8. Copy the common denominator, we have 52. 
Simplifying, these two have common factor, which is 4. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by their common factor 4, we have 2 over 13. So this is the answer for letter A, which is mutually exclusive events. When it comes to letter B, sabi dyan, jack or heart. Ang jack ay apat, ang heart ay 13, pero meron tayong isang jack na heart, which is common. Jack na heart. So, meron tayong isang card na jack na heart pa. Kaya ito ngayon ay magpo-fall sa not mutually exclusive events. So, adding the probability of jack 4 over 52 and probability ng, ng heart, 13 ang heart's card natin over 52 minus yung common outcome nila na jack na heart pa isang card yun. 1 over 52. So, 4 plus 13 is 17 minus 1 is 16 over 52. And 16 over 52, if we are going to simplify, is 4 over 13, dividing numerator and denominator by their common factor 4. So, the simplified answer is 4 over 13 for, for the probability of jack or height. So, I hope you can follow. Uh, you can jot down some important points to remember so that you can answer your activity sheet later. Uh, let's have another example. This one. Yan. The data now is rep uh, represented in a table. Paano kaya pagka ganito ang pagkuha ng probability? Ayan, sabi siya, the number of students in statistics will not be shown below. <coughs> so we have grade 10 and grade 9. For grade 10, female I12, male this 8. Then for grade 9, uh, female I4, male i6. Ibig sabihin, ang grade 9 natin ay 20 at ang grade 10, ah, ang grade 10 natin ay 20 at ang grade 9 natin ay 10. So, ito ngayon ang tanong. <coughs> if one student is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a grade 10 student or a grade 9 student? And letter B, a grade 9 or a female. So, i-analyze natin kung siya ka ay mutually or not mutually. Based on the solution, si letter A, makikita natin siya ay mutually. At si letter B ay not mutually. Bakit? <coughs> Kasi, ang grade 10 natin, syempre, ang grade 10 natin ito. So, about 8. So, 20 over 30. Kasi ang isudyante natin lahat ay 30. 20 kasi yung grade 10. So, po ang grade 9. So, 30 students. That's why the denominator is 30 for the probability of grade 10. 20 over total students, 30. Then, probability ng grade 9, eto, 4, 6, 10. So, we have 10 over 30. This wala namang intersection yung doon grade 10. Grade 9, wala naman silang intersection, ano, based on the table. So, you just add the probability na ang mapili natin na isudyante ay grade 10 or grade 9 is 1 or 100%. Siyempre, it's either ano, grade 10 or 9. Wala naman ng iba. Kaya 100% makakapili tayo na na ang isudyante yung pipiliin natin ay grade 10 or grade 9 based on this. So, 20 plus 10 is 30 over 30, which is equal to 1. And this is 100%. 100% na yun ang mapipili natin. For letter B, mayroon tayong subtraction dun sa formula, which means that ito, not mutually. Bakit siya naging not mutually? Tingnan natin. Probability the of selecting grade 9 or female. Kung titignan natin dun sa table, ang grade 9, ilan? 10. Ito. Ilan na female? 16. So, ayun. Pag tinignan natin yung kukunan natin data, horizontal data, and then vertical data. Grade 9, horizontal data. Female, vertical data. Okay. Ilan ang grade 9? 
10. So, the probability is 10 over 30. Ilan ang female? 16. So, the probability is 16 over 30. Pero, dahil isang horizontal data at isang vertical data ang kinuha natin sa table, mayroon silang intersection na element dun sa form. Kasi na-count na, na natin kanina yung 4 female dun sa grade 9. Tapos pagdating dun sa female outcome, counted ulit yung 4. Kaya, yung 4 yung kanilang common outcome dun sa dalawang event. Kaya isusubtract natin yung probability of grade 9 and female. Grade 9 na female pa. So, may apat. So, makikita mo, 10 oh, at uh, saka 16. So, the intersection is 4. So, yun yung ima-minus natin. Probability of common outcomes, 4 over 30. Kaya pag simplify natin, so we have 10 plus 16 is 26, plus, minus 4 is 22 over 30. Simplify natin, both divisible by 2 yan, common factor nila ay 2. So 22 divided by 2 is 11 and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So ganyan lang siya, kahit pa siya ay maging table, ang representation ng data. So, alamin mo lang kung may common outcome ba? Mutual. Pag, uh, pag may common outcome, not mutually. Pag walang common outcome, mutual. Saan nagma-minus? Doon sa, sa not mutual. Pag walang ima-minus, ibig sabihin siya ay mutual. Okay. So, sana yung naintindihan yung examples 1, 2, 3. Now, let's proceed to the next. So, yan. Let's practice. So, you try to do this on your notebook or on your paper. Let us see if you can follow uh, the procedure on how to solve problems involving probability na mutual or not mutually exclusive events. So, these are the problems. Yan, sabi dyan, oh, instruction. Alamin muna kung siya ang mutual or not mutually exclusive events. Then, find the probability. Siyempre, knowing first what kind of events do we have in a given situation so that you can use the correct formula. Okay, number one, the number of students in a statistics class is shown below. Yan. So, yung data na ginamit natin kanina, ano, Yun pa rin, grade 10 ay 20, grade 9 ay 10, ang female ay 16, ang male ay 14. So, ito yung gagawin. If one student is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a female or a male student? And letter B, probability of selecting grade 10 or a female. So, tingnan natin. Kung masasagot ninyo, yung number 1. Number 2, J has 20 blue balls, 10 red balls, and 10 white balls. What is the probability that J randomly selects a blue ball or a white ball? And then number 3, a card is thrown at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. What is the probability that the card drawn is a queen or a heart? So these are the three uh, problems that you are going to solve. Uh, on your piece of paper, do it. And I'm going to give you five minutes to do this. Then we will see if your answer is correct. Start na. Okay na? Let us reveal the answer or solution and so that you can check your work if it is correct. Okay na? Reveal natin yung solution. And I hope you will get the same answer. Okay, let's present the solution. Ayan, for number 1. 
So, yung number one natin, sabi dyan, mutually exclusive events. Kasi female or male. Pag tinignan natin, parehong vertical data ang pupunin natin. Female, 16 over 30. Male, 14 over 30. So, parehong vertical data. Wala silang intersection. Kaya siya ay mutually exclusive events. Over 30 because we have 30 students in a class. So, 16 plus 14 is 30. 30 over 30 is 1. So, this is 100%. For letter B, so, ang sabi sa letter B, ito ay, yan, not mutually exclusive events. Kasi, kung ang kukunin natin ay grade 10, so, this is horizontal data. Grade 10, 12 plus 8. So, we have 20 over 60 ang probability. Plus, probability na siya ay female is 12 plus 4. So, we have 16 over 30. So, grade 10 and then female yon Meron silang intersection na 12. Ayan. Horizontal and vertical. So, yung 12 ang ating naulit na data. So, isusubtract natin si 12. Probability ng grade 10 and female is 12 over 30. So, we have 20 plus 16 is 26 minus 12 is, at uh, 36 minus 12 is 24 over 30. So, if you simplify, this is 4 over 5. So, sana nakuha nyo ng tama ang number 1. Tingnan naman natin ang sagot nyo sa number 2 kung ganito rin. Okay? Ayan. As a number 3. So, yung number 2 ay mutually. Yung number 3 ay not mutually exclusive event. So, bakit mutually ang number 2? So, probability of uh, selecting blue or white. So, ang blue, ilan ba ang blue? 20. Ilan ang white? 10. Pero lahat ng balls natin ay 40, kaya over 40 tayo sa probability. Ano? 20 over 40, 10 over 40. So, adding the numerator is 30 over 40. We have 3 fourths. So, ganun lang siya kadali. And, sure ako, tama kayo dyan. Number 3, a card is drawn at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. So, what is the probability the card, that the card drawn is a queen or a heart? So, kung 52 playing card, ilan ba ang queen? Apat over 52 cards. So, probability of queen is 4 over 52. Probability of heart, so we have 13 hearts over 52. Then, dun sa queen and heart na, mayroong isa dong card na queen na heart pa. So, minus natin. Kasi maulit na yung card na yun sa event A and event B. So, minus 1 over 52. Then, we have 16 over 52. If we simplify, we will get 4 over 13. Okay. Uh, I hope you got it all correctly so that we can sum up the lesson for this week. Yan. To solve, to solve for the probability of mutually and not mutually exclusive events, ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin? How to solve uh, problems involving probability of mutually and not mutually exclusive events. So, these are the uh, steps to be followed. Number one, determine the given situation or problem if it is mutually or not mutually exclusive events. Siyempre, yun yung unang una. Kailan siya mutually, kailan not mutually? Mutually, if the events have no common outcome. And then, not mutually if they have common outcome. Inestress na natin yan kanina dun sa first part of our discussion. Next, kung alam mo na na mutually or not mutually, so alam mo na rin dapat kung anong formula ang iyong gagamitin. Mutually, so you just add probability of A plus the probability of B. And then for not mutually, so you just add probability of A, probability of B minus the probability of A and B, the intersection are the common outcomes. And then, to substitute the probability of each event in the formula, solve and then simplify your answer. 
now. Uh, what is the importance of probability in real life? So, ito ba talaga yung nagagamit natin sa parang araw-araw natin pangunuhay? So, probability in everyday life. Probability has something to do with a chance, sabi dyan. It indicates impossibility or certainty. The higher the probability of an event, the more likely is the uh, is to happen is that the event will occur. Bakit? Decisions are easy to take when we have several options and we choose only one on the basis of higher probability. Examples, ano ba? Ano ba yung mga pinagagamitin natin? Siyempre, to decide what are chances of winning or losing. Kapag alam mong dihado ka, wag ka nang tumaya, wag ka nang sumugal, wag ka nang lumaban. Ano? Number two, knowing the success rate of the operation and based on that the patient takes a decision whether or not to go ahead with the same. Kaya nga yung iba ang tanong, Doc, ano po ang chance na magiging successful yung operation? Pag sinabi ng Doc na uh, hi, uh, hindi, hindi ganun kataas yung chance, may, may possibility na ganito, so iba hindi na tinutuloy yung operation. Pero pag sinsinure naman ni Doc na okay, magiging successful to after this, magiging okay ng lahat. Okay, go on the operation. Number three, so in sa weather forecasting, ano, gamit na gamit ito ng, ng mga tao, lalo na naman magsasaha. So kung tayo, alam natin na uulan, syempre magdala tayo ng payo. Kung uulan, pupunta pa ba tayo sa picnic? So hindi na natin itutuloy kasi maulan. So kung maganda ang panahon, okay, let's go to picnic. Kung maganda ang panahon, okay, magtanim na tayo. Kung hindi, okay, pagpaliban muna natin. So, these are some examples that the probability in everyday life uh, shows the its importance. Okay. Now, on your activity sheets, you have a, a, a B. So, you just answer this uh, problem applying the two formulas that I have presented to you mutually and not mutually. Then, for activity two, so ito yung tatlong tanong ulit, which is, which is just similar to what I have presented to you. And then, for your performance task, ito probability in real life, ito lang naman yung gagawin mo. Cite some situation in your life where you experience making decisions what things you consider in choosing your decision and why you consider it? Is it important that uh, is, is the importance of the concept of probability applied in making your decision? Explain your answer. So, isulat nyo lang, is, uh, sagutin nyo lang yung tanong. Then, I have the rubrics attached on your activity sheet. You just follow this so that you will earn a perfect score or high score. Okay, I hope you understand all the examples that I have presented to you and good luck to your uh, answering of your activity sheet. So that's all for today. Always remember that life is a probability and probability is life. So that's all.